Hey everyone, Ray Del Vecchio here, and in this short tutorial, we're going to go through the step by step process of signing up with HostGator Web Hosting and installing WordPress so you can create your first website. And this year, I'm partnering with HostGator to give you a special offer. So I'll include that link below, but first, just give me a quick minute. I'm going to walk you through HostGator's website and your options. So right now I'm on the HostGator homepage and up at the top bar here, the navigation menu, you're going to see a lot of options for hosting. So you have regular web hosting, cloud hosting, WordPress hosting, which you might think we need since we're installing WordPress, uh, VPS, dedicated, and they also do domains. But my recommendation is if you're a complete beginner, and you don't know what hosting you need, just go with their most basic web hosting because it's it's really easy to upgrade. And you're usually not going to need to upgrade until you start getting traffic, which is going to take some time. So the big button here is going to lead you to the web hosting page. They both go to the same place. So let's click the Get Started button. And this is where they have a breakdown of their plans. So they have three options, the Hatchling plan, the Baby plan, and the Business plan. And the main differences between these, the first is that with the hatching plan, you can only build one website on one domain. Whereas on the baby and the business plan, you can do unlimited domains. And they recommend the business plan here. But like I said, I, I think that your best bet is just to start with the hatchling plan, build your first website and go from there. And if you'd like to do multiple websites, you can always upgrade. Instead of going through this buy now link for the Hatchling plan, I'm going to use the special link that I mentioned before, which is also going to be available to you below. And if you just want to type it in, it's hostgator.com slash WPC1. And if you go there, you'll find uh, my landing page. And this is actually the home page of my website. So this is a special offer for my website visitors. And if you click the start your website now button, it's going to automatically take you to the checkout page for the Hatchling plan with the code applied. And right now the billing cycle is set to 36 months. That's three years and you get 60% off. What I recommend doing is changing that to either six months or 12 months and that'll give you the best deal. So if I do 12 months, you're gonna get 45% off their normal price, which is $8.95 a month. And let me start filling out the form here. So I'm gonna register a new domain and this one's going to be landscapingtheme.com. And it looks like they automatically brought me over to this other drop down menu once I uh, typed in the dot. And they should search that out. And hopefully, if all goes well, this will be available. And it looks like it is. So I'm going to add it on here. They also loaded in other extensions if you want to do that. But I generally recommend just sticking with the dot com if it's available and also just keeping your domain name as short as possible so it's as memorable as possible. If you already have a domain name, you can use this other tab here. But let me scroll down and we can also add in domain privacy protection. So by default, some of your contact details like your email address might be publicly available. And with this option, you can hide that for somewhere around 15 bucks a year. This is normally not that big of a deal if you wanna save the money but if you're doing it for a business reason and you want to hide that, obviously it's not that big of a cost. So I'm going to uncheck this box and move on here. I'm going to create a username and I just filled that out along with the security pin. The next section here is your billing info. So once again, you can go through and fill this out. This is where you can choose between paying with a credit card or your PayPal account if you have that available. You can just select the radio button here. The next section here is the additional services. So by default, you're going to get HTTPS. That's an SS, a free SSL security certificate. And that just encrypts your web pages when people load them. So it's a safer way to browse the web. A lot of people that already have websites created don't even know about this. So they're running the old technology. So this is actually an advantage of being a beginner. And then with the other options here, I just like to uncheck all of these because you can always upgrade if you need them, but most of this stuff you can do yourself or find out ways to do it for free. So we're kind of just going with the most basic package. And as I mentioned before, your coupon code is already going to be loaded in. If for some reason you get to this page 
in another way and you want to apply this coupon code, it's WPC1. And that's just the acronym for my website, which is WebsiteProfitCourse.com. What I'm planning on doing here is actually building out a landscaping website and making that child theme on WordPress available to my premium members on my website. But if we look at our total here, you'll see that we have one year domain registration at $8. And we have 12 months of the hassling plan, which is normally $107, and we're getting that for $59. So for less than $75, you're going to be set up for an entire year, which is going to give you time to build your website, to build traffic to your website, and create a great design. So I highly recommend that you register for the longest term you can afford so you can get the best deal, get the most money off. And you're going to be so much more motivated to, to build that thing. <laughs> so let's finish up the process here. I'm going to check this box and I'm going to click the checkout button. And once I finish this, I'll join you back here. Once you finish the checkout, you should be brought to this welcome page. And this is where you can manage your account. So if you look at the tabs up here, you'll have the My Account tab, the billing where you can update your payment information, Hosting, where you can manage your hosting packages and domains if you if you register any domains with HostGator. And this is also where you can access support if you need it. Another thing I want to note, because I got a lot of feedback on this last year, sometimes when you do this, it may take up to 24 hours for your website to be live and for your account to be live. So it's normal if this doesn't happen right away. I, I edited that out last year and I had so many questions about it. So... Give it at least 24 hours for your account to be ready and before you move on to these next steps. You're also going to get a couple emails from HostGator. So let me pop over to my Gmail tab here. And you'll get your billing account information. So you'll get a username and password to manage your HostGator billing. The more important thing at this point is your hosting account information because that's where you're going to log in to install WordPress. So you should see an email that has this title, HostGator.com, your account info. And this is what we want to click into. And this is going to give us all our information. So we can update our website from this control panel. So this is the link to the control panel. They give us our username, our password, along with our domain name, and then our name servers. And the name servers are what link your domain name to HostGator's web hosting. So let's say you had your domain name registered through another service like GoDaddy.com. You can still set up hosting on HostGator and then just go to the DNS settings within GoDaddy and then update those fields with your HostGator um, name servers. So that's how that works with this. But since you purchased domain registration and hosting together, they're already going to be linked. So that's just one less step that you have to worry about. I'm going to open up the control panel in a new tab here and I will copy and paste the username and password to see if we can log in. And let's give this a shot. And it looks like this didn't work so I may have to wait for this to activate before everything's ready here. It's the next morning here. I, I just let this you know, do its magic overnight, let HostGator take care of everything. I didn't have to contact them, and I'm going to give this a shot again to see if our login works. So let's give this a try, and we're good to go. So as I mentioned before, I had a lot of people contact me, and they asked whether they needed to do anything, if they had to contact HostGator support to get things working. Like I said, just give it 24 hours and try and log in again. Everything should be good. We got a couple pop-ups here, and this pop-up is for LastPass, and that's my preferred password manager. And this top bar here is for constant contact email marketing. So this is something that they obviously partner with HostGator if you want to do email marketing. I actually prefer using MailChimp. They're a free service. I don't think constant contact is free. But we don't have to worry about this for the time being. A real quick overview the cPanel is where you control all the elements of your website and that includes your files so they have a file manager here you also can get FTP access there's Windows and Mac programs that you can use to transfer files from your computer to the web server 
You can also take a look at your databases. WordPress in itself is, is a database driven system. So once you install WordPress, you're going to have a database on your web server. And the other important thing that you might want to look at is your email. So this is where you can create email accounts or if you want, just do email forwarders. So you can create email under your custom domain, but just forward it to your existing account, whether that's Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook. But what we're looking for here is up here on the popular link section, build a new WordPress site. So if we click on that, it's going to take us to a page where we can install WordPress on our web server with one click. So we select our domain from here and you get to choose whether you want to install WordPress on a subdirectory. But my recommendation is that you do this right on your top level directory unless you have a specific reason not to. And we'll click the next button and we fill in our WordPress website details. So we have our blog title, admin user. I usually like to just do my first name, all lowercase. And then we can type in our first name and our last name along with our email. So once we have all these fields filled, we can see that we have this checkbox here which says automatically create a new database for this installation. I mentioned that before. And you also have to accept their terms and service agreement. And then we just click install and within about 30 seconds here, they're going to give us our WordPress admin username and password. And it looks like our installation is complete. And here are our details. We have our domain, where it was installed to, the username and password. This is our WordPress username and password. And we have our login button here. So let me just copy the password. I'll open the login link in a new tab. And if you take a look at this domain, it's yourdomain.com slash WP admin. That actually redirects here, but if you type in it, yourdomain.com slash WP dash admin. That's how you're going to get to the login page of your WordPress website after it's installed. And this is where we can type in our username and password. And once we log in, this is where we can begin building our website. So we got a lot of pop-ups here. One of the things that a lot of these web hosting companies do is they'll set you up with various plugins installed on your WordPress site. In general, I usually like to delete all of them and start from scratch, but that's completely up to you. And the way that we can take a look at our website is if we scroll up here and we hover over this um, blog title, we'll get a drop down menu where it says visit site. And if I open this in a new tab, you'll be able to take a look at our website, which is using a very basic theme here, but you can start blogging right away. And if you want to start designing, then you can browse themes and get into the customization side of things. But that's all I got for this video. If you're a complete beginner to WordPress, or maybe you just want to brush up on the basics, I put together a three-part video series going through the WordPress admin area, which is what we were just looking at a minute ago. And that's going to teach you all the essential things that you need to know to run your WordPress website. I'll include a link to that below. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more WordPress web design and freelancing videos. And last but not least, if you haven't set up your website yet, please do that today. I'm a huge believer that everybody should have a website and I want you to take that plunge. Go to HostGator.com WPC1 and you can get this special offer applied when you set up your first website and create your HostGator account. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch, and I hope to see you on the next video.